Hi everybody, welcome back to another Crafting with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed Asner Family Center. Today we are coming a little bit closer up, getting a nice little detailed shot of me, I guess, because today we are going to be focusing on something that we all have, we all share, which is our face. We are going to be practicing just drawing a simple face today because I know a lot of our classes were getting down and dirty and the scissors and the scraps and the squishiness, all these fun sensory projects that we do. But today we're going to be practicing on more of like a drawing skill, which is drawing people, drawing faces in particular. So I'm going to be teaching you about a good way to make a base um, drawing for a face, just like a good way um, to basically make a map of the face and finding where do our features actually lie on our face. And it's a good starting spot for you to learn how to draw faces in general and then kind of basing off other people's faces off this map that we're going to be working on today. So. I'm gonna take the camera away from my, my mug and we're gonna start working on our drawing. All right, so today I have three materials, super small material list today for you friends. I have a notebook, nice and sturdy paper, and I, oh, I guess four, because we have a nice sturdy surface, nice and flat. I have a pencil and a pen. I suggest if you are new to drawing faces and profiles in general, you want to make sure that you are only using a pencil today because mistakes happen, like I always say, and that is totally fine, but we really want to make sure that we aren't getting frustrated while we're making our art today because we have so many different pieces of paper. If you make a mistake, always erase or use the back side of a piece of paper before you use the next one, just to reduce um, the amount of paper that we use. Alrighty, so we are going to be starting with a nice clean sheet of paper and I'm gonna be showing you a map that you can use to kind of base the rest of the features off of. And it's very simple. We're gonna be focusing on shapes that we're very familiar with, okay? And so we are going to be starting with the letter T, a nice big letter T. and. You're gonna notice that I'm turning my paper a little bit. For me personally, it helps when my paper is turned slightly so I could get a nice view of um, my, I write personally with my right hand so it makes it easier for me to draw. But if it makes it easier for you to draw this way or this way, or sometimes I even see people draw upside down, but that comes with some practice. So I'm just going to be starting like this today. We're gonna to start with our letter T, okay? I'm gonna be starting with my T and it's gonna be an, a pretty long top line and a nice line coming down to the bottom here, okay? And so we're gonna start with our T and then on the sides of the T are going to be two circles. We're gonna make a big circle on the top and I'm only gonna be doing it towards the upper part, but we're making sure that that tip of the T is inside that circle. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, just like that. And then we are going to be making a second circle underneath that are kind of crossing over. And these are all shapes that we're very familiar with. We all know how to draw a circle and we all know how to draw a T. And your circles don't have to be perfect. You see my circles, I kind of like to go over them a few times. And I want you to also notice that I'm not pushing hard on my pencil. I see a lot of the friends that come and participate in a lot of our classes here at the Ed Asner Family Center are pushing very hard on their pencils and it makes it really hard to erase later on. So I'm using a very light hand. So now we've got our two circles, our T shape, and now we can move down to the bottom little leg of our T. And so at the bottom of our T shape, we are going to be making another circle here, right in the middle. Two little circles on the end, on the sides, I mean, just like this. And I'm sure you can kind of start to see a face within our shapes that we're making. And then right below these three circles, we are going to be making two more circles side by side. No overlapping here. Just like that. 
And then starting at the top of our circle here, we are going to be making one more bigger circle going all the way around. Okay. There we go. So this is our map. We are going to be using these shapes to find the features within our little guide that we've just made, okay? So let's start with the eyes. I always love to start with the eyes because then we can just work our way out and around. Some people like to start with the face shape, but we are really just focusing on our face features today. So we are going to start with the top line of the eyes. So. Sometimes I like to suggest getting a mirror going. Oh, hello. <laughs> so you can see your face within your, so you can see your face as a reference if you wanna see, um, let's see if I could get myself in this. Hello. Okay, so I like to look at the top line of my eye to just kind of see the shape that it makes, but we're just gonna be doing vague shapes today. So you can see, uh, over here on this top circle, we are just going to be, I'm actually gonna get my marker out here so you can really see the lines that I'm making. I'm gonna be taking this top line that's kind of um, overlapping the other circle and I'm just gonna make a nice arch. And that's gonna be the top part of our eye, just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Find that overlapping circle and go just like this. There is a nice little arch for us, okay? So you can see that we did the top part of the eye and now let's do the water line. So underneath, we're gonna do the same thing on this bottom line and we're gonna just make a nice curved line. You can do another line over the top because if you look in your mirror, you can see your water line where the tears come out, kind of where the tear duct is. It's kind of like two lines. So. It's really about just finding these small little details in the face. That's why we have our little mirror nearby. Okay, so now that we've got the outer part of our eye, let's work our way in to just a nice simple iris. So the iris is a nice circle. You can make a circle like this. I'm making a nice round C shape that's connecting to the, knot, the top. So. You can see that I've left a little space or you can have your eye connect all the way to the bottom. It just depends on who you're drawing. Some people have a little bit of white space at the bottom as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, two very nice eyes. And then we can go in with our pupil, which is the black part of the eye. And I'm gonna just make a little C shape two little C shapes. And we're making C shapes and not connected, we're not connecting there to show that there's a little bit of shine within it. A little bit of glare from the light maybe that this, this person's looking into. So we're always wanting to leave a little bit of whiteness in the eye just to show a little glare. All right, so now we have our two little moon shapes, little C shapes. We've got our outer lines and now we can move on. Some people, Oh, well, actually we'll go into details later on, but this is just your basic eye shape. So now for our eyebrows, you can use the top part of the circles here and you can make a line, di diagonal line, and another diagonal line. And we're just kind of connecting these two top parts of the circle. And then another diagonal line coming down on the ends. And you can add your hairs in by just flicking your pen. Same thing on the other side. Nice eyebrow shape. And then we can start working our way down to our nose. So you can see that our three circles here already have like kind of like a, um, a vague shape of a nose. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be starting on the left circle, making a nice curve, another C shape and then an opposite C on the other side, just like this. And then just kind of following this line on the bottom, going back up to our middle circle here, bringing it around and connecting it back. And now that we've got our basic nose shape, cause you can see sometimes that there's a little, little like 
bump here from the tip of the nose. You can even add a little line in to show the little bump in the middle. And then you could just add a nice swoop up to the eye, just to show that there's a little bit of an arch there for the nose. You can do it on the other side as well. Totally up to you. I'm gonna just keep it on one. You could also do a little one on the other side. All right, and then to move on to the mouth, we are going to be using these two bottom circles here. I am going to make just a little V shape here for the Cupid's bow. That's gonna be the little lip part here at the top. It's usually this little V shape that we all have. Some people don't have that though. So if you are drawing someone that doesn't have a very defined Cupid's bow, you can just curve that over and just connect those two circles with a nice curved arch. But we're gonna make a little Cupid's bow curving around those circles on both sides, just like that. And then you can make your person smiling or frowning. I'm gonna give them a light smile today just by connecting this line with a nice curved line to the edge of my circle in the same way to the other side. Just like that. And now you can take these two circles here. It kind of looks like buck teeth right now. We'll be erasing everything at the end. And I'm just gonna be making a nice arch that goes from the middle here to the other side of the lip. And then just connecting our lines to that arch that we just made for our top lip. And now for the bottom lip, it's gonna be another little rainbow shape, just following this bottom part of our circle. I don't like to connect the bottom lines though to our top lip because you can see that on, let's see if I could get a good look. It, it kind of fades, our lines aren't, you wanna make sure that they're not super, um, um, you don't want, you wanna make sure that your lines aren't always connected because sometimes, like parts of the face kind of blend in and fade into our skin. And so we don't wanna make it look too structured and um, we just kinda of wanna make it look blended together. So now we can add in our small details. I like to add little, little um, curved lines on the side of the mouth for the cheeks. You can add a little upside down art, little rainbow arch underneath the mouth for the chin. You can add a little line above the eyes curved line above the eyes for the eyelid, maybe some eyelashes. Everyone has different shaped eyelashes. Mine are pretty straight, but I'm adding some curved ones. To make eyelashes, what I do is I just push on my pen. Let's see if I could get a good view here. I'm gonna start on the end here of the eye. I'm pushing on my pencil and curving as I let go on the top and very lightly letting go on the top to get that nice point that we're looking for for eyelashes. So I'm pushing and letting go, just like that. It takes practice. Eyelashes have always been hard for me. And now you can do some bottom lashes. Everyone has bottom lashes. Eyelashes are what keeps dusts out of our eyes. So we always wanna make sure we're adding at least some eyelashes to a face, but that's up to you. All right, and you could even add some under eye bags. Everyone's got those and Everything else is really up to you. You can even add some freckles if you'd like. I have a few freckles on the side of my mouth. We'll add those on. But everything else is up to you. And we'll work a little bit later on, on maybe another video on face shapes. But that's gonna be it for a, just a regular old face shape. You know, this is not what my face looks like. This is not what your face looks like. This is just a basic starting like guide for just where the features lie on your face. So now you can even make like a heart shape around your features, or you can make a potato looking head or any other type of face shape that you'd like. Cause later on we'll be working on face shapes. But for now, this is what we've got. Nice little head. So I want you this week up until our next show to maybe practice drawing some faces because I know that we all have a face. 
I hopefully you have a mirror that you can look at to just see your own features and just notice those little things on your face and know what is distinct to you and what makes us all unique because we all have got different features that are really fun to draw once you start practicing them. So hopefully my starting map for you guys is helpful and I hope you guys are able to practice and I'd love to see your um, profiles that you make. So if you'd like, you can send them to me at aviva at edazerfamilycenter.org. And I'd love to see them and the progress that you're all making because making profiles and making realistic faces in general is pretty tricky, but we've got a lot of time on our hands, a lot of time for practice. So go get a pencil, go get a nice little notebook if you've got the time and go do some doodling, okay? All right, well, I'll see you next Saturday for another crafting class. Uh, alrighty, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye guys.